here to announce that we were opening up a, a new series with the University of Arizona, which I think our fans will uh, be excited about. But, uh, between the two schools, um, we have a history of playing uh, 89 times over the, the, over the course of the series, which started in 1935. And we haven't played in the last 17 years. And uh, we're just really grateful to Sean Miller uh, that he recognizes, you know, how important it might be to our fans for them to come in here and, uh, um, and, and what it can do for our strength of schedule as, as we try to move our, our program forward. Uh, you know, we recognize that. Uh, we're still going to have one of the youngest teams in the country. Again, next year we have uh, several freshmen coming in again next year. And everybody is aware that we were the youngest team in the year in the country. And we may not be quite ready to take on the, the strength of this schedule that, that we're about to announce. But uh, we feel like it's important to our fans. Uh, we feel like uh, you know, our stockholders are our fans, and that's what they want. Uh, we feel like it's also important to... Uh, to elevate our program and, and make it relevant nationally that, that we have to play uh, nationally regarded teams. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we feel like uh, in thinking long term with everything that we're doing, uh, that uh, this will be attractive to the, the type of player that we want to recruit here in the years to come. With the, the young team, did you hear from them that they wanted to play this type of schedule? Well, no, we told them that we were going to do that. <laughs> and. Uh, and then sat back to find out if that bothered them. You know, there are some guys that may not feel like they're quite good enough to play against those kind of people. And uh, if they are, then they're probably not the kind of guy that we want. And, uh, and the, the players that we have coming in here next year are genuinely excited about uh, the schedule that we're about to announce. How long is this initial series scheduled it's for? It's just for two years. We're going to start with two, uh, with a year in between, a skip of a year in between. They'll be back here in 2014, 2015. Uh, but it's consistent with what we tried to do a year ago and going to play uh, on the road with a, a brand new team at UNLV and, and the University of Oregon who uh, finished second in the Pac-10 conference, um, knowing that uh, it was going to be a real challenge for a young team uh, that might help prepare us for a, uh, a Conference USA schedule. Uh, it it uh, would be something that our fans would want to see the following year. Our fans are going to be the beneficiary, beneficiaries of that this year is uh, UNLV and Oregon return to the Haskins Center. Is this a bit of a vote of confidence, even though you do have a young team, given the, the difficult teams you're matching up with? Vote of confidence? In your team, in your players? Not, not necessarily. I wouldn't interpret it that way. It, it's, this is all based on the long term. It's all based on attracting better players. It's all based on building, uh, getting that fan base back to where it was in the 80s. And uh, uh, Bob Stowe and our administration have been great in terms of uh, the ticket package that they're about to announce. It's going to be, uh, I think, very uh, uh, very exciting to, to a lot of people in our community. So uh, we're just uh, looking at every phase of our program, and this is one that we wanted to address when we took the job. It's something that, that Bob and I talked about, and we wanted to uh, play a schedule that we thought was uh, reflective of, of who our program should be nationally. And this schedule, I might add, has uh, uh, 14 teams right now uh, based on last year's <coughs> numbers that uh, were in the uh, preseason, uh, I'm sorry, that finished the season last year in the top 80 in the country uh, in the RPI. Okay, um, the most that the University of Texas El Paso has ever played in any season was 13. Uh, there's a possibility that we may have as many as 17 games against teams in the RPI um, top 100. Uh, which is uh, totally based on what happens in the conference tournament. We may see teams like Memphis, who was 16th in the RPI, Southern Miss, who was 21, uh, Central Florida, who was 54 in the country, Marshall, who was 44 in the country. If you see any of those teams, it's just been the numbers on them grow. So uh, it's a very, very strong uh, home schedule with New Mexico State, UNLV, Oregon, and then uh, we'll have an announcement next week on our Sun Bowl field which is going to have another, another national team uh, in there coming into the Haskins Center uh, just in our non-conference home game. So it's a, it's a special uh, special uh, uh, home schedule that, that, that we're producing this year. Coach, you mentioned getting uh, back to the attendance numbers of the 80s and stuff like that. And um, we used to play, obviously, as you know, quite a bit of tough opponents every year. So should we expect this to be the rule or the exception to the rule, what, no, the kind I of slate we're facing this year? It's been what we've tried to do since we've been here. It's, it's what we did at the University of Southern California. I remember a, a, uh, a five-day stretch where we played uh, 
Kansas on a, uh, uh, a Saturday, played Oklahoma on a Sunday, and Memphis on a Tuesday. And, and uh, that was the non-conference. I felt like we played the strongest non-conference schedules in the country there in changing our product, which is what we did. And it took time to change our product, but uh, that's what we're going to do here. Talk about uh, it being the long term and attracting the type of player you want. What is the type of player you want? I want a guy that can play for Arizona. <laughs> I want a guy that can play for those people. I want a guy that can play for Gonzaga. I want a guy that can play for Florida or Georgetown. And uh, that's the only way that you become those people. And, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we have to get this home base back to where it was. I'm not going to sit here and demand it of, of our, our fans. Uh, I'm not going to scold our fans for coming out, not coming out. Um, I think our fans that are here are unbelievable. Uh, but we have to earn that. And, and you earn it through your schedule. You earn it through wins. And uh, the wins may be hard to come by. The schedule. This schedule is a little bit uh, more difficult than some of the schedules that we played here in the 70s and 80s. Um, but um, we're, we're transitioning right now, and uh, and it's a great time to transition with this young team. And uh, and I think it will will uh, speed their development. We also know.